Welcome and thank you again for tuning in. In this video, I will review a very important framework we use with all of our patients that help us to prioritize the type and the order of treatment as we move them along the continuum from illness to wellness. It's called the focus funnel. My name is Dr. John Ripoli. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, self-actualization coach, and the founder of the coaching program, Wellness by Design. This is a must know framework for all wellness coaches, practitioners, and highly motivated self healers. With all of the myriad of environmental inputs, the choices that we have and the treatment options available, we frequently find ourselves consumed by the energies of paralysis by analysis. And we often find ourselves asking questions, right? Such as, where do we begin this journey and what exactly should we focus our attention on? The focus funnel is the answer and it consists of four distinct parts, awareness, sorting out, first things first, and second things second. It is inspired and expanded upon the serenity prayer and the wisdom of self-help guru, Stephen Covey. In this video, I will present the 10,000 foot view and in later videos, we'll take a deeper dive in how this can be applied to specific functional medicine protocols for various diseases, right? Autoimmunity, diabetes, depression, chronic fatigue, and so much more. So starting with awareness, we are asked to become aware of our life, our thoughts, emotions, feelings, beliefs, behaviors, our circumstances that factually, without any attached story. Next, we begin to sort out the things that we can control from the things that we can't, right? This is the serenity prayer. In other words, it's just as important to know what to focus on as it is to unfocus on. But this is not enough, right? So once we have distinguished between the things that we can and cannot control, the next steps are applying the concepts of first things first and second things second to the identified controllable factors. So first things first represents our roots and fundamentals. And a short list would include diet, restorative movement, hydration, sleep hygiene, self-care practices. It is a prioritization towards the lowest hanging fruit, right? First things first helps us to identify the most important and nurturing activities that we're either doing or not doing that contribute the majority of our happiness, well-being, inner peace, and health. So we want to make these practices and label them as our non-negotiables. So once identified, our goal is to laser focus our soul's awareness, our mind's attention, our heart's intention, and our actions on them, right? Most people live from the opposite premise, right? As they laser focus their time, energy, and monies, on the minutia of activities that matter least, right? Like watching TV. In today's healthcare arena, the mindset is second things first and first things never, right? Let's give the medicine as a first line intervention for diabetes, high blood pressure, and so on, and never talk to them about diet and lifestyle, which represents first things first. I'm also reminded by the daily onslaught of well-intentioned but misguided patients, right? Who have come into the practice over the years inquiring about a specific supplement, biohack, um, a dietary and fitness trends to help XYZ condition. The contradiction, right, is apparent. They are simultaneously searching for a panacea while at the same time engaging in destructive habits such as eating unhealthy, smoking, consuming excess, excess alcohol, and so much more, right? Focusing on second, third, and fourth things keeps us blindsided and in a cloud of unnecessary confusion, right? Our attention should be instead hyper-focused on the big picture, first things first. Getting lost in the details of a specific diet book or exercise video without focusing on the first things first is a distraction. It's a form of avoidance and a recipe for failure. Every one of us can begin without complicating the matter, right? To eat more whole foods, eliminate processed foods, 
nurture our closest relationships, love more, and forgive more. The key is to create healthy habits or replace the unhealthy ones. Remember, you can't build upon a habit that has not yet been started. When treated as applied holistically too, we create synergy, coherence, and multiplication. For example, diet and exercise and self-care practices when combined will produce greater effect than each one alone, right? Einstein, right, he's quoted as saying, the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. So start with first things first. In a future video, we'll go over the specifics of when and how to add the more advanced therapies that fit into the category of second things second. Until then, work on first things first, the fundamentals. Thanks so much for listening.